Operation Ice Bridge, 2012, Down Under. Part 1, The Hunt for Pig in October. Ice Bridge is off to a strong start this year, having completed seven science missions over outlet glaciers, sea ice, and ice sheets, and covering a broad range of territory both east and west of the Antarctic Peninsula. This is exactly the kind of start mission managers were hoping for when they prepared the aircraft thousands of miles away in California two weeks ago. Dryden has been invited by headquarters to play a pretty major role in Operation Ice Bridge when it comes to studying the Antarctic continent. So we've prepared the DC-8 with numerous instruments uh, to fly long duration flights uh, out of Punta Arenas, Chile. For this year's campaign, we've got a complement of about uh, 17 scientists will be flying on board, and uh, we've got seven instruments installed, and they range from uh, LIDARs to radars to a gravity meter as well, which is kind of a unique instrument. And at the end of the campaign, when we've uh, flown roughly 15 sorties, if we've hit the targets and they've successfully collected data, then we know that uh, we've done a good job. So this is the fourth year we are going back to Antarctica with the DC-8 and uh, we have analyzed the uh, data from the uh, previous flights and the previous missions and we see that the uh, ice sheets for example like Pine Island Glacier are rapidly thinning and the thinning is uh, accelerating and it's spreading further and further inland so this is uh, something we really have to uh, keep an eye on and go back every year in order to make sure we collect the uh, data that we need to feed into computer models uh, that allow us to make predictions for the future. Until today, the mission had yet to feature a return to the site of last year's discovery of a massive rift in the Pine Island Glacier, a huge flow of ice that has been called the weak underbelly of the West Antarctic Ice Sheet. Satellite images show the glacier is not calved yet, but when it does, could produce an iceberg the size of New York City. Keep in mind that the main science objective of Operation Ice Bridge is to study how the ice is changing in polar regions on a much broader scale not searching out calving events, but being at the right place at the right time provided a scientific bonus. Icebridge did a great job of, of surveying that crack and giving us a great visual on, on rift dynamics. I mean, the ice melange that's in that rift is, is very interesting. Icebridge is based out of Chile to fly all sorts of flight lines associated with bridging the gap between ice set and ice set too. Uh, they happened to survey it last year, just fortuitously, it would be awesome if they could go back for sure. Uh, it wouldn't be directly uh, their science, but it'd be great to, to see the evolution of that rift or possibly even a new survey associated with the new calving front. Today's mission featured a rare high altitude flight over the Pine Island Glacier. As the aircraft returns, we wait for news of what the team found when they got there.